DJ Scream. Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. Is it was ready? Yo, you better not change the station. Serious X, some hip hop nation Wednesday night. You know what it is? Hood Rich Radio, DJ Scream, the whole Hood Rich team. And tonight, joining me, my brother, man, superstar check in time, Trey the Truth. What up, homie? Welcome back to Hood Rich Radio. It's like your fourth, fifth, sixth time, but you're always welcome, man. I appreciate it. You're like it, a co host. It's been a minute, though. You it's been, know, it's so. been a minute. It's been a minute. You've been out there, man. I, I, want, I definitely want to salute you again on another successful trade day. I wasn't able to make it this year, but. Salute to you, man. It's great for the community. You know what I'm appreciate saying? It's it. great for the youth, and, and it's dope to see the industry just come out and stand up for you because you're a stand-up guy yourself. For sure, for sure. It was one of the biggest ones I've had, man, so it's only getting bigger and better. Y'all moved a location this year, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a long story. Long story. Did know, it work out for the better, though? Uh, it it did. I think I might I might go back next year. Okay. So. Got you. I would say I would say it's cool, man. Yeah, that, and that's the seventh annual, or which one is it? I lost count. You lost but count. Okay. They gave me a, actually. Um, I'm always doing something to make some type of history. So yeah, as they presented me my award, I think they said it was the eighth. Okay. So, eighth. But um, it was crazy. Cause I'm the first. Well, of course, the first artist with his own right. holiday. But I'm right. actually the first artist to get two proclamations. Now I got another one from the new mayor. So I'm the only one that had it from two mayors in the city of Houston. So that was Dope. that was crazy. And then Dope. I got a gang of other awards from. Congress women and everything. Right. She was Jackson Lee, so it's right. You know, I'm just working on it. So something that's been a long time in the making, and we 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 finally made it. We here, man. Is your album, man? Tell me how it feels True. to have an album packaged up in stores. I didn't, you know, at first it didn't really, it didn't really dawn to register on me, man. And you know, I tell people the story all the time. Shout out to J Cole. That's who shot me the direction yeah. I was to go ahead and not do another mixtape. Right, right. And now I'm really seeing for for a number of reasons. But um, at first, you know, you get kind of nervous. You ain't mm. did in a long time. Mm-hmm. And you don't know how people going to receive you or accept right. it, you know. Right. Because, you know, time changes things. And, right. Um, I think it turned out for the best, man. I, I, I haven't got one bad review. Mm-hmm. And it, like, swept, literally swept the nation. I mean, you had people from... The homie Shaq, mm-hmm. John Wall, yeah. Odell Beckham, yeah. um, every rapper you could think of. I mean, every movie still like everybody across the board was and the play the, 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 the feature the feature the features on it like the the list of features is amazing, man. Like to have Future and Nipsey Hussle and and Q and Snooty, I can't even name all of them. Snooty yeah, Wild and Low Ti Ti J Cole actually produced them, right. Um, Boosie, Inc. Boosie, yeah. uh, Ross, um, and then you got a certain amount of those, but then you got like even even crazier material. It's just you, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? It was it was a it was a blessing, man. But you know, a lot of people I had to tell them like this wasn't the album. Like I, you know, I, niggas start out trying to I'm gonna work on this album. I focus on that. Like bro, yeah. I got over 1,300 records. I just picked the songs that was fit in my mood at the time of right. what described me. Now, a, a lot of the tracks on the album, what I like the most about it, man, is uh, you use your voice, man. Like, you use your voice to actually speak about what you got going on or what's going on out there. Do you feel like some of the artists have failed to kind of use their voice for a purpose? Um, Man, one thing I, I, I always do is I stay in my lane. I ain't, I'm right. not the, I'm not to pick and choose mm-hmm. what this person should do, what they shouldn't do, why they did or why they didn't. Right. As far as me, I do it. This is my form of venting. This right. is my form of letting go. But got you. At the people's expense. Yeah. It helps motivate others, and you know, yeah. it, it it helps people to um to enjoy my music. You yeah. know, regardless if the venting may be good or venting may be bad, right. may be bad. But at the end of the day, that's the only reason I really do it. But it, the good thing is, people do listen. Like right. I, I watch it change a lot of things. When you look on the television screen, or even if you hear about you know situations such as Sandra Bland and so many others, and then yeah. even looking at the television screen and seeing you know division amongst the urban communities themselves, like what do you, what do you think is the first step? Like what's the first step we could take as people just to try to get shit together? I think at the end of the day, just a reality check. And right. It's not a reality check for the next person. A, rea- a reality check within self. You know, because even with me, you know, coming up from the streets, you know, I had flaws. Right. 
where I, I probably made some of the wrong decisions and did something that just probably wasn't yeah. live, you know right, what I'm saying, right. to, to how I look at it now. Right. And I think, you know, that – just the reality check and grow, you right. know? Because at the end of the day, we still, we human. We yeah. got to stand for what we stand for. Yeah. A lot of us don't tolerate disrespect, so right. I, I can't fault people for that. Right. But we just got to, we got to do it for what's necessary. If it's unnecessary, you know, you yeah. let it make it. Absolutely. Now, on a lighter note, because this is just funny to me, man. When you hear about Donald Trump running for president I don't respect and, and that. taking it serious, man, does that does it make you tickle inside as, as much as me? Or I don't respect that just because it seemed like, You'll watch him dig himself in the hole, and you'll think, like, okay, I know this, this captain realized he's right. fucking up, but he'll go dig an even bigger one. Right. And then dig an even bigger one past that one. So now it's like, fuck what he got going on, man. Right. And then, you know, like, I'm from Texas. Like, you like as far as even within the, the Latin community, right. like, that's, that's our family. Like, right. that's one of my top supporters as, as well as us blacks. So right. it's like, yeah, no, nah, we all won. Like, you can't, like, I even got a brother, my bro dog, man. You know, he deported overseas right, right. now. So it's like, the way he look at shit, I don't respect that, man. So it's going to be important for us, you know, come voting time to, to, to get up and tell everybody to stand up and vote to make sure we don't have no slip-ups. Because... You, know you know the fucked up part about it is, even though niggas don't want to sit their ass up and go vote and all that, right. the reality of it is we got to We're because to. Yeah. if we let somebody like that get in office, we fuck. Yeah. Like, we already can be fucked in other ways from, because, you know, Obama on his way out. Right. So, right. we could be fucked in any, no homo with all that right, shit. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But if we let somebody like that get in the office, if you think we complain and now you only, it's, it's going to get 50 times worse yeah. for us. So, yeah. motherfuckers got to stand up. And this is what I was telling you earlier. We got to stand up for what's necessary. And this is very necessary. Don't let no, you know, it's so funny. They call niggas like us ignorant and right. stuff. That's right. how the fuck we looking at him right now. Right, right. Absolutely. Shout out El Chapo, though. Shout out El Chapo, <laughs> man, wherever you at. I know you're listening. He be listening to Get the Rich nigga. Radio. <laughs> so It's the trade takeover. You know that, it's right? It's definitely the trade takeover, man. You know you know the fans out there want to know what's up, man. When, when's the next cartoon, man? We miss them. We, um, we trying to see some more Trader True cartoons, man. They're epic. It's, it's actually, it's done now. I mean, shout out to my bro Jay Shug. We just waiting on a couple of voices, but um, we got majority of them coming. I mean, we this whole next season gonna be crazy. Okay, I've been working hard, man, to try and and it's so crazy. I'm sitting in here with you. You remember we linked up with Adult <laughs> Swim years, yeah, and years, uh, riding ago. around in Atlanta, yeah. trying to walk. I don't even know how many years ago that, that was. That was a while, almost a decade. Yeah, bro, that was yeah. before people even really started getting hip to it. But yeah. Now it's like it came back full circle, so I'm trying to. I really feel a cartoon needs to be on Adult Swim, or it needs yeah. to be on um, on Car- Cartoon Network, maybe. Yeah, I yeah. mean that. You know, I was shout out Philly Flyboy because you yeah. know he do all all my videos. I mean, as my business partner, and yeah. he do all tips and everybody. Yeah. But we talked last night. I, if if I don't take it to the TV, I may try and reach out to Netflix or something like that. But okay. I really, nice. I feel it need to be on TV, bro, because right. it's like every artist want to be a part of it, right? Know? Trade the truth film, trade the truth movie, trade the truth in any movies. You just seen, you just seen. Yeah, what? I know, I know, I Go know ahead what's and up. You can break the ice. I'm good. Well, you got a super, <laughs> super, super dope next level video coming out, and it's really more than a video. It's like a mini movie, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Yeah, and we actually gonna um, I gonna set the standard with it. We we actually finna do a movie. The style, I'm not gonna say because niggas being took it. Right. The concept and the storyline, I'm not gonna say. Yeah. But just know it's gonna be. Is gonna be some refreshing, and it's gonna have a shitload of people in there that that's familiar to the world. Nice, so, nice. I mean, you know, I I, I gotta set the standards. Mm-hmm. After yeah. after accomplishing so much, man, uh, Trey Day, uh, the cartoons, the music, of course, legendary. What's next, man? What's what's the next thing you feel like you gotta accomplish as Trader True? Mm, I mean, I know with with my nonprofit Angel by Nature. Matter of fact, shout out to my nonprofit, my whole team, my crew, and shout out to Last Impressions. They, um, the Ronica teamed up with us too for for trade day. Yeah. But um, with with the nonprofit, with my mom and my sister, and them, I'm looking to open up a children's shelter too. Okay. And, um, 
I don't know, G. I'm just working. Just you working. Know, I'm, I'm, I'm Enjoying working the culture. Around. That's yeah. the dope thing about Trey. He just enjoys the culture. He lives it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to know that, man. Any shout outs before you get out of here, man? And of course, let everybody know they can get the album everywhere iTunes, Google Play, everywhere. Every, I, heard, I heard about uh, a mix up with, with your album not being in stores. In stores. Tell us about yeah, that. Man, what happened? I ended, up, I ended up losing so many sales. But, you know, at the end of the day, you, you turn some situations into better situations than. I know a lot, a lot of niggas that fuck with me that do not get yeah. on their phones and yeah. fuck with iTunes, right. whatever. Right, niggas was they they pulled it, they, they pulled it, they they pulled it, it out first, right. right. Yeah, it was the first one they did, but yeah. I missed, I missed a lot. But you know, this album ain't about it. wasn't about sales with me anyway. I just wanted to, I wanted to get the music in, right. And I feel like even with every artist, it comes a point where you can reinvent yourself, you mm. know. And I feel like right now with me dropping this album, mm. this is bringing people back. Into that radar to know, okay, well, nah, this for real, right? Because the crazy shit, yeah, they got the album now. Second part coming out in less than mm. two, three months. Mm. That's then what's a real up. album band coming right behind that. So oh, okay, okay. I, you know, once right. I hit go, I'm going for the kill. Yeah, like like fuck, giving them time to breathe. Yeah, R.P. DJ Screw, Fat Pat. Yeah, Big Hawk, Big Mo, Pimp C. Yeah, um, what the Texas bro, gonna Clip do? D, Dinky D, Free Dog Man, Free my brother King Dinky. That's the only reason I rap, man. Right. And right. shout out my little boys, man. But shout out to my brother, Trade the Truth, coming in, Hood Rich Radio. The album is stores right now. I'm telling you, it's banging, man. I've been riding to it, so make sure y'all rock with it, man. What else you want to get into? I'm going to um, make a request. I, I got to hear the joint with Nipsey. Yeah, that- Got to hear the joint with Nipsey. Bro, that's one of the top, that's one of the top selling ones off of it. Dope. And Yeho. Yeho is okay. another one, so, you know. Okay. Um, shout out my little bro, Bibby Nipsey, you know. Nipsey came to trade day too. I had yeah. him riding the camel and all. <laughs> okay, Nipsey yeah, was on the camel. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, you know, other than that, man, you know it's all love. Shout out to everybody doing their thing, man. And for those who wondering if they should be still trying to jump to a major independent, right? If you got the hustle, go the independent way. If you don't, go to major. But independent. One thing about it, you can you can do independent and make it look real good. Yeah, I'm absolutely. A prime example. Just don't be lazy, man. Live it. Live the culture, man. Make it happen. Trade the truth. Make good it. music because it's a lot of bullshit. You got to make there. good music, yeah. first and foremost, man. Trade the truth. Hood, Hood Rich Radio Wednesday Eight night. Time. Serious XM Hip Hop Nation. DJ Screen. Keep it locked. What up, DJ Screen? Corey, what's happening? Spins on the beat. It's Hood Rich Radio. You better not change the station.